Hi, it's Matt here from Go Green Autos. So here we have a Hyundai Ioniq electric with a 28 kilowatt hour battery and this car is now five years old and has done 92 and a half thousand miles. So I'm going to show you what the battery is like and what the wear and tear has been like on the car. So everyone's worried about battery life when they're looking at second-hand cars particularly as they get older and particularly in this case where it's got done a lot of miles and there's this assumption that batteries are only going to last four or five years and need replacing that's a complete load of rubbish but it's repeated so much over the years that uh, most people just think that's the case so uh, in this case obviously this car's done 92,000 miles let's just jump in and I will show you there the mileage 92,483 miles so I have tested the battery on this one and the battery pack is still at 100% state of health I've got one of these cars myself we've got a 2017 vehicle um, similar aid actually and it's done a similar sort of mileage ours has done 83,000 miles now i think and it's exactly the same still at 100 percent state of health so obviously i see a lot of uh, used electric cars and now getting a good feel of what batteries are like on used older evs and as a general rule um, batteries only degrade at about one percent a year or less obviously less in the case of hyundai's and kia's are particularly good as well um, but uh, the worst ones are Nissan's, Nissan Lease and Nissan EMV200s, they lose about 3% a year on average. Um, so battery degradation really isn't a concern, particularly if it isn't a Nissan. Um, so yeah, with these, you know, the batteries are more than going to last the life of the vehicle and uh, probably then some as well. Obviously with an electric vehicle, you don't have to worry about wear and tear with mileage like you would with a nice vehicle. That powertrain under the bonnet really is only one moving part. You've got an electric motor driving the front wheels directly. So while there's a lot of electronics, actual wear and tear is absolutely minimal. There's an electric motor with a reduction gear, which is just a fixed gears reducing the speed down for the wheels. Um, so the reduction gearbox does have a little bit of oil. Um, but yeah, wear and tear, absolutely minimal, never known an issue with them at all, and they're gonna do huge amounts of mileage. So really, when you're looking at what can wear on these, you're really down to tires, suspension joints, uh, wiper blades, you know, it's absolutely minimal, and down to internal wear and tear. Um, and at 92,000 miles, we'll just have a quick look at this one. This is the Premium SE and has got the leather interior. And as you can see, it really is wearing well. Ignore that, this one hasn't been cleaned yet. Uh, but it's got these copper um, piping in the seats. And just there, that surface of the uh, piping has worn off along there. But the bolster here, really good. If it didn't have that piping on, you know, you really wouldn't see anywhere at all. Steering wheel, really good. It's got leather um, steering wheel as well. It's heated um, and it's a little bit smooth there, but really minimal. When that's cleaned up, you wouldn't see that. And nowhere on that centre armrest or on the doors. It's all really looking very very good suspension on this one feels just like any others do there's no noticeable wear at all it feels just like still like a new one to be honest and so does our own one uh you know we haven't done the full 83,000 miles in it but uh nothing has been spent on that car yet at all apart from tires and wiper blades so this particular car has just come in only last night we haven't prepared it yet for sale um, so the only things we've got to do to this is touch up a few stone chips on the front there's quite a lot of plastic on the front of these because you also don't obviously have a grill because it's electric and there's quite a mass of painted plastic and they are quite low so there are a few stone chips on that bit and there's a few there none on the metal bonnet uh, well no significant ones one tiny one there and the worst ones is a couple of chips in the paint there but this is all plastic so there's no rust um, I have seen some of these where the grey metallic paint on this plastic 
trim uh, has flaked that would be more difficult to touch up but it's all really good in this case um, so yeah considering the mileage uh, once those stone chips are being touched up it's in exceptional condition the nice thing about electric vehicles is wear and tear is absolutely minimal you're really limited to just your suspension so high mileage cars like this are a cracking buy because cars are still valued like ice vehicles the traditional way where primarily it's the age of the vehicle and then the mileage of the vehicle so if you can find high mileage evs they really are a good purchase but that will probably change over time and i think that sort of message is getting out there now because um, this is going to make decent money uh, and more and more people realize that mileage doesn't affect um, EVs in the same way as it would a traditional combustion engine vehicle and EVs in particular are attaining very high prices now because the demand is so huge. So I think that's about it for this video. If you're in the market for an electric vehicle then I really would encourage you to try to find one of these uh, because these are cracking vehicles even though they've got a 28 kilowatt hour battery which might seem quite small because these are so efficient they're super efficient cars you're going to get about one to one and a half miles per kilowatt hour more out of one of these than uh, any other ev and so uh, in reality these do the same sort of range as a 40 kilowatt hour leaf so um, they're cracking vehicles they've got absolutely loaded with kit really comfortable um, really nice to drive as well very quiet they're really nippy in sport mode you've got very good adjustable regen with flappy paddles on the back of the steering wheel and you've got a, a coast mode as well where they really do freewheel for a very long time so you can get great efficiency out of them so i've done plenty of videos on these ionics on the channel so uh, do search for those and uh, I think that'll do for this one. So as always, if you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, please do click the thumbs up on YouTube because that really does help other people find the channel. Uh, do have a look at the back catalogue, hundreds and hundreds of videos on the channel now. And do subscribe if you haven't. And uh, new EV videos coming at least every week.